sleep? No. I haven't slept much since all this happened. Yeah, I know what you mean. Now, I'm going to drop these down the laundrette, get them dry cleaned. Do you want me to take yours? Chrissy, what are you wearing for the funeral? Do you want me to get it clean for you? Oh, sorry, Jean, I haven't even thought about it. Dennis, I need your suit as well, babe. What for? Well, we need to look at best, don't we? Anything from Vicky? No, but it's the middle of the night over there. Yeah, well, I hope she can make it. Sorry, I got the baby with me. Only had to get Keith to take the kids to school. Demi's been getting hassled. Uh, this is a pub, not a nursery, Rosie, in case you hadn't noticed. I think it's nice having a baby in a bar. We should go for a more family-friendly environment. Well, thank you, Dennis. I'll bear that in mind. Rosie, if you've got childcare problems, you sort them out on your own time, all right? Yeah, I will. Sorry. You all right? Yeah, fine. I missed you last night. Yeah, well, um... Couldn't have you staying here with Sharon and Dennis. You know, it's like King's Cross up there. Yeah, sure, I understand. Well, life goes on. If I take these through. Hey, let me help. What's the point in having a knight in shining armour if I never get to shift a few crates? Sorry to trouble you while you're so busy. Oh, there you are, Sharon. You're right, Paul. Look, dear, I was really worried about you staying here last night. I think it's too soon. Oh, that's fine. Well, listen, don't forget, if you feel the need, you've always got a bed at my place. Thank you. Uh, Paul, do you think I'll have time to get these dry cleaned? Yeah, give them to me. I'll take care Thank of you. Them. Have you, um, heard from Vicky? Uh, no, not yet. But, Chrissy, have you checked we've got enough champagne? What do you want champagne for? Or for the toast. Can't let Dad go without raising a glass. Yeah. Well, I think we've got a few bottles somewhere. Well, maybe we should order some more. I don't want it to run dry. Oh, Rosie, could you do a couple of extra hours this morning? I want the place looking its best. Um, yeah. Good idea, Sharon. Right, I'll try Vicky again. I think they're asleep, Sharon. You have been so good helping Sharon. Well, someone's got to help her, haven't they? Right. Let's get on. Oh, thanks, Keith. Well, the next dozen bottles of champagne are going to be here later on today. Great. Oh, Chrissy, there's just one more thing. Can we talk about this later, babe? Well, look, I'm going to go to the florist and they'll want to know what sort of wreath we want. I wasn't sure, but I thought, Dan or Dad. I don't know, Sharon. It's up to you. Well, I suppose he was known to everyone on the square as Dan. Yeah, well, this isn't about everyone, is it? He was your dad. There he was. That might be Vicky. Sorry, Rosie. You need anything else, you just tell me. I'll see you later. I'll see you later. Michelle, Vicky's not coming. She's still too upset. She'll think to be too much for her. Well, probably for the best. It's not going to be easy for any of us, is it? I just thought she'd want to be with us. I know. But, you know, Vicky's young. She probably doesn't want to come back to the Vic so soon after everything that's happened. Yeah, you're probably right. Still, we've got you and Dennis. She's paying you the full whack, then, is she? Yeah, well, why wouldn't she? Oh, no reason. Just seems like a good deal having your bloke working behind the bar. You all right, Dennis? Yeah, fine. Just going upstairs. What's his problem? Oh, he knows. Oh, and this is all I need. Peggy, what can I get you? I'll oh, just have a tonic water, please. Doesn't do to start too early in the day now, does it? Yeah, well, don't tell the rest of my plans, is that? <laughs> You know, when I ran this place, I used to have hot meals every lunchtime and a full roast on a Sunday. Well, oh, that's nice. You sticking around here for long, then? How do you mean? Oh, I thought you wanted to get back to your son, catch up on all the news. Oh, no, I've got my Sam to think of now. She's my priority. Yeah. yeah and I've got one or two business interests that need sorting out. No lemon. <laughs> um, can I think about Marcus Christie? Did some work for Den. No, a lot of people did some work for Den. Most of the times I never knew their names. Well, I like to know what the men got up to in my house. <laughs> well, that's the difference between you and me. Oh, well, never mind. I've put the word out. You know, see if I can track him down. Yeah. I've heard Sharon's moved back in. Yeah, that's right. Well, family should stick together at a time like this. Well, that's exactly what I thought. Me and Chrissy made a decision about the flowers. Oh, yeah? Look, I wasn't sure what you'd like, but I thought Dad. Yeah, that's fine. I can't pick it back. You know, sometimes I think I can still hear him. 
Running up the stairs, having to go up, Mum. No, I'll see you later. Dennis. Oh, yeah. We used to have something going on every night back then. Quiz nights, darts, sing-alongs. It's not enough to expect people to come down the pub just for a drink these days. Right, I'm off. You all right? Oh, yeah. I could do without Peggy Mitchell giving me a top ten tips on how to run a pub every time I turn around. Right. Look, you know I'm here for you, don't you? Yeah, darling, I don't know. Hey, I want to help. Jay, don't. Just leave it, all right? All right, I will. No, Jay, are you sure you should be working today? Yeah, you know, it's good for me. It keeps me busy. You've got to take care of yourself, you know. Yes, it's a hard thing to bury somebody. I mean, no matter how things was between us, we always wish we could have handled those last things and always better. You sound like you're talking from personal experience. Yes, thinking of Paul. He wasn't easy, you know. I can't say it was all eye to eye. There were times I wished he wasn't even with us on bringing all that truck to the house. But, and when he was gone and we didn't know where he was, and then we did, well, Patrick really grieved. He'd lost his child and he needed to bring him home. That's the last act of loving kindness, you know, to be there at the end. When you lay down to rest, you'll be able to rest too and find some peace. Yes, darling. What can I get you? There is a lady under an awful lot of pressure. And how is your girl doing? I don't know. It's hard getting to see her. Well, when you do, tell her I'm asking after her. It's all too easy to judge. I leave that in the hands of the good Lord. So you moved back in then? Yeah. Chris has been wonderful. Right. Yeah. You quiet? Am I? If you want to talk. No. Oh, thanks. So, I had a guy at the solicitor. He was useless. I sacked him. I'm not saying that brief. And I'm sure he was better than nothing. But, Billy, you've got to have someone who knows what they're doing. Anyway, Phil's got a new lawyer, so I'm having all the papers sent over. So what were you talking to Johnny Allen about? I just want to ask him about Marcus Christie. Find out what happened to our money. I got a bit more than what I bargained for. Marcus Christie. Oh, let me finish. When I asked Chrissy about Marcus, she made out she didn't know him. Now, I know that can't be true. Yeah, of course she knows him. Now, I want to know everything that Sam said. Because if Chrissy Watts can lie about that, she can lie about anything. Hey, you all right? I don't think I can go through with this. What's up? It's the funeral. I just don't think I can take it anymore. saying that Christy was up to something and that she was going to get away with it. If that's the case, why would Sam take the blame? Why go to prison for something she didn't do? Hey, you've seen the state of her. She hasn't got any fight anymore. That's why she needs someone to fight for her. So what are we going to do about it? If Chrissy does have blood on her hands, we're going to find out.